Hi, I'm Kendra and you're watching Around the Clock. We've all heard of some crazy diets out there that we've all kind of tried. We've all heard of the baby food diet. And we've also heard of people going to the extreme and going borderline starvation. So today's discussion is what is the most extreme diet you guys have been on and why? What crazy extreme diet have you guys gone on? I think I've been on a few crazy diets. I mean, I've done, you know, Atkins. I've done like the juicing diet where it was all liquids. Um, gosh, I mean, probably everyone that's come out, I've probably tried in some shape or form, way, shape or form. Logan, what 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 have you done? I, I have in the past done this no sugar diet, which I have to say, made me the meanest person on earth. I was evil, I was horrible, I will never <laughs> ever do that again. And I also did try, I, I signed up for a three day juice cleanse. I made it to the end of the first day and then I made um, made myself a sandwich and had a glass of wine. So um, clearly <laughs> those things do not work for me. I'm so mean. Tracy, what's the craziest diet you've been on? For me, I don't look at it so much as a diet. I do a juicing, a week-long juicing several times a year, and I love that. As challenging as it is, it's, it's about really getting the gook out. Um, so I think others, my husband thinks it's pretty crazy, and um, but I've gotten a few people to join me in that. So I don't look at it as a diet. I look at it as mm -hmm. a, a part of my lifestyle. A cleanse. A cleanse, and I like it. I like the way I feel. Of course, it's challenging going through it. I cried. You know, you, you get angry. You're mean. I've had to go to bed and say, tell my husband, you take care of everyone else, you know, because you still have to be around food. And I find that when I'm going through that cleanse, I'm invited to every lunch and dinner uh, during that week know, that right? you can imagine. Exactly. I've gone to every extreme there is. And, you know, I have lived, you know, I used to live at the Playboy Mansion. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of pressure on me to, like, keep my body. But I actually went in the opposite direction. I actually, I got to that point where I really wanted a booty. A booty. And so I asked this girl, I'm like, how'd you get that butt? And this girl goes, oh, girl, you got to eat some fried chicken, some cornbread. And I'm like, Okay, and I really believed her. So I started going on this fried chicken and cornbread diet to get a booty. <laughs> You're crazy. I, pr I swear, and I did it, and it did not work. No. It all went to my gut. No. Yes, it all exactly. went to my gut. So then I had to go on a new diet. <laughs> when it sounds but, uh, too good to be true. Yeah, well, I, I was so stick. I was trying anything to get like some curves and nothing was happening. So, but I've never, ever tried to cleanse. I'm really nervous about that. Come on but, down uh, to Miami. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk <laughs> okay. you through it. Please. Yeah, I need some advice because I can't just do it voluntarily. Do it. You can do it. Kendra. Yeah, I can't do it. I'm just too afraid. <laughs> So you just heard about our crazy diet plan, so I would love to hear about yours. So leave a comment below and we'll check you out next time on Around the Clock. Subscribe now. You'll never believe what our moms will be revealing on the next Around the Clock. And don't forget to watch Fitness Guinea Pig, where we test today's hottest workout and diet trends.